On the underside of the LS57 handle, you'll find this cover to the hole. This comes out, and inside of there is a two millimeter set screw. Removed by turning counterclockwise. And once you get it loose enough, don't take it all the way out. Once you get it loose enough, this will slide right off. Again, like I said, once you get it loose enough. You'll expose the cartridge. First thing you need to do is take this off, this little collar. That screws right off, and underneath there you'll find a, a cartridge nut. This needs to be loosened by a Cressor wrench or something to that effect. Now I have pre-loosened all of these items, so you may have a little more difficulty than I do by taking this stuff off. Once this comes off, it exposes the entire cartridge. Now this little piece right here may not have come with your cartridge. It's a flathead screw. You just need to unscrew this like so, and then put it back on on the new cartridge if your new cartridge doesn't have it. You'll see these two little feet. These two little feet have a home inside of there. Make sure they get lined up correctly with those two feet. And then simply go in reverse. Replace your cap there. Put your cartridge nut on. When you're tightening this down, tighten it down finger tight. Uh, and then use your crescent wrench to just give it a little bit of turn just to make it nice and snug. I mean, when, if it's, once it's difficult to rotate with your crescent wrench, you are tight enough. Do not over tighten. As you can see, the cartridge is made out of ABS, which can crack. Screw this guy back on. Place your handle back in the position it was before you took it off. And then tighten down your set screw. Until everything is nice and tight. Place your cap back on and push it into place. Your cartridge is now changed.